today we're going to do something, well, something completely different. Absolutely off the wall different from what we normally do. Yeah, I'm in the process of moving. And that means selling my house and buying a new one. And if you've never done that before, well, it's an expensive process. It's a stressful thing to do. There's all sorts of things that you got to fix. There's all sorts of little repairs that you didn't even think about. Keeping the house ready for showings. And it actually costs a lot of money. Oh, so I made the wife a promise. I had to put on hold any spendings on any new fishing gear. No more new fishing gear. Yep, that's right. Not right now. When it comes to fishing gear. Any money that we have has to be spent on the house and items used to fix the house. But you know me, guys. My mind is always on one thing. Yeah, always on fishing. So as I was going through a lot of the tools and gears that I need to fix up a lot of these small things around the house, all these construction tools, all these materials, all these household items, my one-track mind about fishing went into overtime, guys. I could probably make a pole out of that. I can make a reel out of that. Yeah, a new fishing rod, a new fishing reel, and the wife would be none the wiser. I can use the excuse saying, well, I bought it for the house, darling. I'm not spending any money on fishing gear. So I'm off to my favorite home store, and I'm gonna see if I can make a rod and a reel out of nothing but construction equipment, home decor, and tools. We're gonna try to turn Home Depot into my new tackle shop. So I'm gonna try to see what I can find in here at Home Depot to make a rod, a reel, and spend as little bit of money as possible. I'm gonna set a budget of $25. See if we can't do a whole rod and reel for less than $25. Here we go into the candy land, guys. Now I'm not talking about just using a stick and broomstick or a piece of PVC pipe. We're gonna do it all. I'm gonna build an entire rod and reel. Hello. First, let's focus on the rod. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm gonna make it. You gonna? Well, let's hope so anyway. You can where's the fishing section? We don't have a fishing section. Uh, we're not going to go and cheap out and just build some not useless piece of garbage out of a broomstick handle or a standard PVC pipe or anything like that. Nope. Aha, here we go, guys. Maybe we can make a rod out of this. These driveway stakes, these markers here, they're actually a fiberglass pole. They've got some pretty good flex to them. Oh, look at these. This is it. This is what we're talking about right here, guys. These are the same thing. These are driveway markers. These are stakes that you would put alongside of your, when you're marking out where your driveway is going to be so they can pour the cement. They're fiberglass rods, solid fiberglass rods. They're about, I guess, four feet in length, but they're strong and they're flexible. I'm thinking this is our rod right here. And it's orange. It's a carrot sticks. This is like meant to be. If we can figure out how to build a handle, throw a few different eyes on it maybe three or four i think this will make a pretty darn good rod that should be able to catch us some fish all sorts of different ideas i'm getting here that it could use for the eyes perhaps maybe use for eyes no I'm thinking i might just make my own eyes here out of just simple wire this is four dollars for that little bit of wire i'm sure i can find cheaper than that see out here in the garden section this is too thick Look at this wire, 98 cents. 98 cents for this steak here. I'm thinking if I bend this around, I can make some eyes out of this. I'm gonna get two of those just in case. Oh, I found it. It's buried over here. What I'm looking for, for the real guys. I think I figured it out. We figured it out, guys. Sure, us arms can't reach. I have one of these at home already, guys. But it's been used. So I'm going to get a new one here because it's only $10. This is called a chalk line or a chalk block. This is to mark up straight lines, perfectly straight lines. When you're doing things like woodwork or tiling or anything like that. But it's an actual little reel. My idea behind this, guys, I'm going to take this. I'm going to open it up, pull out the interior of this. And I'm going to restring it with some fishing line. See, we've got a 6.1 to 6 to 1 gear ratio on it. 
So I'm gonna be able to burn top water with this? Yeah, right. But there we go, guys. We're doing pretty good so far. We've got a rod, we've got a reel. We got some material to make some eyes out of. I believe I got some material to make a handle out of. All I gotta figure out now is how I'm gonna actually attach this reel to the handle, to the rod. Some kind of clamps. Here we go. Hose clamps, guys. These hose clamps, $1.27 a piece. We're under our $25 budget with all this. Just under 25. Not bad, not bad at all. I sell fishing kit. I'm gonna make a fishing rod. You don't have a fishing section, so I had to make my own rod. Well, there we go, guys. Everything that I believe I need to make my own rod and reel. Do it yourself, Home Depot style. All for less than $25. Well, now let's get all this gear home. Try to put it all together, see if it'll actually work. So here we go. We're gonna to try to put this together before we actually see if we can catch some fish with it. But the very first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to work on here is the reel system itself. You can see when I open it up, it's a little reel. We can pull the line, it's already pretty strong with a bunch of line out there. And by reeling it in, you can reel that line right back up. First thing I'm gonna to have to do, gonna to have to break it open, pull it apart, get this line out of there, and string it up with fishing line. Let's pull it apart, see what we can do. So pulling this thing apart should be pretty simple. A couple screws on the back here. This piece actually comes off, I noticed that too. And what I can see inside of here, there's actually a little piece of felt. I may end up pulling that out so my line can go out freely. Grab yourself a screwdriver. We should just be able to pull it apart. And yep, there we go. And inside is the spool. There's a little piece here that's a, a line guide. You can see that right there. You don't want to lose that piece. So pull out the, the whole mechanism and let that line guide slide down. We're just going to take off all the string that's on there. Make sure we save that little piece right there. So we got all that string, all that line pulled off of here. Slide on this piece. Slide on this little guide. Attach your line to your spool. So we'll get this little wheel line back up. Slide the guide back down. So the line guide goes into place here. We're gonna slide this top back down. Let's get the base back on here. See if we can't get this thing put back together. Gonna try to keep that line fairly taut as I reel it in. It is reeling it in. There we go. We got a reel all strung up with braided fishing line now. That sure looks like it's gonna work as a fishing reel to me. Uh, I've got my four feet, four foot driveway stake here. First thing that I'm gonna try to attempt to do to this is make a handle. I had originally bought a piece of foam. But I found these cork stoppers. They were $2 a package. I can make a really nice, comfortable handle out of these. I'm gonna to try to make a guide hole first, just using my screwdriver. I'm thinking we put a handle together that looks something very similar to that. Handle of this all together and let it set. And there it is. So the next step is we gotta fashion the eyes or the guides for the rod. But what you wanna do is you take something nice and round, like uh, I'm using this broomstick handle. You're gonna bend that wire right around it, giving it that form. I bent this wire right around, bend it around, so it's got that nice circular shape to it. Something strong and flat is what you need. 
Follow me there, see where we're getting at. Now you want to try to do the same thing to the other side. see we got the eyes that I've created here wrapped each one up with solar thread the last one to do is of course the tip top eye it's just like the other eyes except I cut off the top piece of it and for the last little trick that I have for you guys nail polish that's right just clear nail polish I'm gonna coat this completely with clear nail polish. It's gonna seal it. It's gonna hold it nice and tight. There is our almost finished, completed rod. I gotta figure out a way to fashion the reel to the rod. This is just a standard drawer pull. This guy like kitchen hardware. If I can get that mounted, and then I'll take these hose clamps and then attach this to the rod itself. Nothing holds better than epoxy. That's not going anywhere. I'm going to mount this right here with these hose clamps. And we got it, guys. Check it out. That is a fully finished, fully assembled, homemade, do it yourself for less than $25 from the Home Depot. All right, folks, the moment of truth has arrived. The homemade do-it-yourself Home Depot fishing rod. We're going to put it to the test. Let's put, really put this thing to a challenge. Right now, I've got the smallest hook that I have on, uh, that I have on, tied on. I got a little bobber, and I'm going to use some bread. I see a whole bunch of small bluegill and uh, cichlid. I'm going to try to catch some of those first, because outside of these bluegill and cichlid are tons of bass. We're going to try to catch some bait to catch some bigger fish. And I, little bluegill picking at it. Oh, oh, and he got my bread. I got him. Oh, he got off. Oh, that was a perfect size. Oh, oh, I got one. We got one. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Look out, guys. We got a little bluegill. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get him in the bucket. He's a little bit, maybe even a little bit big. Let's see if we can't get maybe a little bit smaller than that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a little one. Perfect, look at him in Woo, yeah, another one. More bait, guys. Let's toss him in there with his buddy. Just a tiny piece of bread. Small enough that they could take it into their mouth, but not pick it apart. Oh, oh yeah, yes, 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 perfect. Look at that. That is it's a little cichlid. That is perfect, perfect bait. Perfect size bait. back let's get another one another little guy oh oh I got one oh no I don't yes 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 we got another small one yeah oh he's about the size of the other ones here we go there's got to be some hungry bass in here that'll eat these get him in the bucket and let's gear up ready for some bass all right guys well <clears throat> I'm at another spot here there's a lot of weed cover here. It's going to be definitely be a challenge for this here. 
especially because if I hook into a, a nice size peacock or something, I don't really have a true drag system on this. I got to try to manually drag it uh, by letting it pull the line and me reeling backwards. But we're going to put it to the test. I got my little live bait bucket here. I got it full of all those uh, cichlids and bluegills that I caught earlier. And we came to this spot because I know in this spot I've caught some big largemouth as well as peacock bass. And it should put a real good challenge to the homemade rod here. But you're about to meet your maker, boys. There's a good perfect one. Okay. So we got a little cichlid this time here. Oh, 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 easy, easy. I love these little guys here. Hook it right through the nose. It's a nice hard part there. It should hold on pretty good. So we got our little bait out there. Let's see if anything will come by and grab it. Oh, oh. He was definitely running for his life there. Bunch of peacocks staring at him. Come on, I'm on. Holy crap, we're on, guys. We got a peacock. He's not you. Wow. We got one. <laughs> we got one. Yes. Yes. This is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Yes, pull him up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and he's off. No. No. Oh. He came off right at the end. I should have just flipped him. Oh, that was disappointing. But hey, we had one. Let's go back and get him again. Wow, that was disappointing. Come on. Come on, guys. We got one. Oh, what do we got? A nice bass, guys. Nice large mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to. Oh, geez, yeah. This is not easy. Woo! We got one, guys. Nice big large mouth. Get him up here. Get him up here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. We got one, guys. The do it yourself rod. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look out. <laughs> we got one, guys. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Got about a two pound large mouth bass on the do it yourself rod. Look at that. Look at that, a thing of freaking beauty, guys. Ha ha, it worked. And it worked wonderfully, guys. Very, very nice. Woo, there we go, guys. It worked. The Home Depot do-it-yourself, using a chalk line for a reel, and all sorts of construction materials and home, home equipment for your own rod. Your own rod and reel, it catches fish absolutely works guys that's fantastic look at that beautiful bass there she goes fantastic guys amazing the do-it-yourself rod actually worked they caught us a nice bass we had a nice peacock but that one got away i'm gonna call this challenge a success absolutely fantastic guys the do-it-yourself home depot 25 dollars challenge built me a rod and got me a reel. Got me some new gear and I didn't spend any money on fishing gear, darling. We spent it all on home stuff that we need to help sell the house with. So none of my funds went towards actual fishing gear. I took all this home stuff and construction tools, home decor, you name it. And we turned it into a rod, a reel, and it caught some fish. Absolutely fantastic. Well, folks, there you go. The do-it-yourself rod and reel Home Depot $25 challenge. It was a success. It took me a little bit of time, a little ingenuity, a little creativeness to be able to figure this out, but you can do that too. For less than $25, go ahead, challenge yourself. Head out to Home Depot or your local hardware store. See what you can come up with for your own rod and reel. Go ahead, get creative with it, guys. See what you can come up with. I challenge you to the $25 Home Depot challenge. Build yourself a rod and reel for less than $25 and go out there and catch yourself some fish. Have a great time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little something. And if you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else you'd like to see me film out here. I'll do my very best to make a video out of each and every one of those guys. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel, guys. And if you're already subscribed, well, stay subscribed because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. 
one last time from beautiful South Florida, smashing fish on the do-it-yourself rod reel. It's Captain Mikey reminding you the future is bright and keep those lines tight.